Hi, greetings. I'm Miss Weisenstein. I am an earth science teacher from Southern Illinois, and I'm so glad that you joined for this National Parks video. Before we jump into what this video is gonna be about, I wanna tell you what it is not going to be. It is not going to be me explaining a bunch of scientific facts that occur in the national parks because I wanna leave that investigation, that exploration up to you. So I will give you some information, get you a little bit like intrigued about those parks, but I'm not going to explain how they formed or anything like that. That's on you to investigate. Um, so a little bit of information about me. I love, love, love our national parks and my deep appreciation for the parks really grew in 2016 when I went on a three month road trip across the United States and stopped and hiked at many of the national parks. And I just, I really hiked and hiked and hiked to my heart's content, loved it. Um, the park that I'm gonna talk to you about today is Badlands National Park. Badlands National Park is in South Dakota. So you know Mount Rushmore. Okay, Mount Rushmore is about an hour, a little over an hour drive away from um, the Badlands National Park and um, Mount Rushmore is in the Black Hills mountain range, a small mountain range that is west of Badlands National Park. Um, Badlands National Park actually was first established as a national monument in 1939 and was redesignated as a national park, got a little bit of a promotion, I guess, in 1978. What I really like about Badlands National Park are the really cool rock features. These rock features can be examined and studied to give us like a peek into the geological history of that location. So just by studying and exploring the, um, the rocks formations at Badlands National Park, we can learn things like that that area used to have a shallow sea that a volcanic eruption deposited a lot of ash in that region millions of years ago. And that's really cool. Now, I'm not just saying that because I'm a teacher. I actually think that stuff is really cool. Um, so Badlands was first called, like, why is it Badlands? Okay, so the when people were moving west, pioneers were exploring, they got to this part that was really bad to cross. It was bad lands for crossing. So the name Badlands for that type of um, like geological features, that landform kind of stuck. So this is Badlands National Park, but I assure you this area is not bad. It is very cool. And in the summer, it's incredibly hot. In the winter, it gets to be really cold. So I want to tell you a quick story about a hike I did in Badlands National Park. So I um, don't know what I was thinking. Let me preface it with that. I went on a really long hike and I packed a bunch of water, my lunch and snacks and everything. I was prepared, but there's no shade there. Like there aren't big trees or anything to like give you a break from the sun and it gets really hot. I was hiking in July and I was like halfway through the hike and um, I started talking to people that were along the trail and got a little bit of trail magic, the best trail magic that I could have received that day. I got an ice cold blue Gatorade from a fellow hiker. So, oh my gosh, it's exactly what I need because I still had about five miles left to hike. So I turn around, I've got my Gatorade. I'm just like sipping super slow because it is so good and it's, it's what I need to get through this hike. Um, and I'm hiking, hiking, hiking. The rock formations are so cool. Like you, you see, um, like, like kind of like cones, you see that. And then like you turn the corner and it's more like a Canyon and you can hike down in it and then you go up. It's really cool hiking. Um, but I don't know, several hours into my hike, I was getting near the end, but I was super tired, kind of starting to rethink why I went on such a long hike to begin with. And then I round a corner and there it is right on one of these beautiful, big rock formations is a big horn sheep. It was the coolest. There was nobody else around. 
If you hadn't gone on that long of a hike, you would not have seen that sheep. It was staying away from the people. And then out in the distance, you could see even more bighorn sheep. So cool. It made every part of that hike worth it. It made all of like the heat, the sweat, the like dusty dirt kicking around. It made everything worth it for that moment of seeing those bighorn sheep. So um, I decided it was super hot there and really cold in the winter, but there's actually quite a bit of animal life that lives in Badlands. So obviously bighorn sheep, pronghorns, um, mule deer, prairie dogs, and many other different animals that you can see while you're hiking. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, Badlands is one of 62 national parks. There's currently 62. And yeah, so that's my introduction to Badlands National Park. And now it's kind of up to you to explore it a little bit more, to give you some ideas of things you could learn and explore from Badlands National Park. You could check out how sedimentary rocks are formed, the how weathering and erosion affects landscape, constructive and destructive forces, like how fossils are formed, what kind of fossils there are, which gives us information to extinct animals. And I bet there's even more and I'm hopeful that you will come up with some questions, some curiosities that you have that you could explore at Badlands National Park. And well, thank you for joining me and I hope to see you for next week's National Park video as well. Bye.